Welcome to the four challenges of selling your home in 2014. I'm Rhonda Duffy, the owner and broker of Duffy Realty, and I'm glad that you've decided to take this journey of education with me. You know, selling a home in today's market requires a strategy of both number crunching and planning to position your home to stand out from the crowd. This research was produced by the Core Empire Research Group and it's sponsored by Duffy Realty of Atlanta. We commissioned the study because we've worked with thousands of home sellers for the past 12 years and we're familiar with the top challenges of sellers in the current market. We understand individuals want to advertise their home to every buyer in the market and that they're not exactly sure of how that happens or what should be done, but we are pleased to share this study with you. The areas that we're going to cover today are the secrets that agents don't want you to know about marketing your property, how buyers search for and research homes, and what buyers expect from sellers and what you can do to meet those expectations. So let's study the trends over time that affect sellers. Well, home values have consistently increased at least until 2009 and now they're back on the rise. We've all heard that. But from 1963 to 2009, did you know that the home prices increased over 1300 percent? from the average sales price, that's right, in 1963, a home that you would have purchased for $19,300 was now, in 2009, worth $270,900. And of course, now, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you know most housing prices in Atlanta have continued to increase back from the time where they decreased over 2010, 11, 12, what about the interest rates? Well, mortgage rates for the month of October 1971 to 1980, you know, they rose 6.16%, nearly doubling within nine years. Well, what's happened since? Rates are historically low now. As you can see, interest rates are 5.5% lower than they were 10 years ago. And many people believe now is the prime time for home buyers to take advantage of these rates. And the inventory for buyers is low. As of November 2013, there were only 30,000 active listings in Metro Atlanta, and new home construction is still reported as lackluster, although we are starting to see more new home construction, which is a good thing to see. In the summer of 2007, the inventory of homes for sale was over 110,000. New homes were not listed in that amount of inventory, so you can see Right now, sellers have an advantage with the lack of inventory in the market. And consumers have more choices in real estate companies. The Consumer Federation of America cited that between 1995 and 2012, discount, flat fee, and for sale by owner business directory listings increased by 152%. But since 2005, traditional brokers have decreased over 35%. Independent real estate companies emerge and more independence for agents. Well, in 2003, there were over 2,200 brokerages in Georgia. In 2013, there's only 1,700. And with many of the brokerages having less than 25 agents, well, you know, with the 500 company decline that's reported as companies going out of business, what we have seen is that as of 2013, of the 32,000 remaining real estate agents, over 72% of the agents are reported as paying a small desk fee and a transaction fee per transaction and collecting 100% of the commission. Some of these desk fee companies include Solid Source, Drake Realty, Remax, and Keller Williams. As a result, there has never been a more opportune time to sell a home due to the low inventory and low interest rates for buyers. However, Four challenges are present that must be overcome in today's market if you want to be successful in the sale of your home. So challenge number one, marketing to every buyer. You know there's four types of buyers that are searching for your home. Two that search the MLS primarily, that's relocators and first time buyers. And two that search for sell by owner listings primarily, that's local house movers and invested minded buyers. So the question is, why don't all agents put their listings on for sale by owner websites if some of the buyers are searching there? Remember two search MLS primarily, relocators and first time buyers, and two search for sell by owner listings primarily, local house movers and invested minded buyers. And agents spend little to market listings overall. 
A study showed that 86% of agents reported that they spend $193 in advertising on homes listed at $250,000 or less and only slightly more for higher priced homes. So why are they only spending $193 over a six month listing? Is that enough to get your home sold? And real estate commissions are declining. From 2001 to 2013, the average real estate broker's commission rate declined 0.81%, which means if a broker sold a home for 200000 in 2001, they would receive $12,200. In 2013, they would receive 10580 as an independent contractor who then pays a split to their broker, taxes, insurance, and expenses. And transactions are declining too, putting most agents in poverty level in the United States. 95% of real estate transactions are done by 5% of real estate agents. Even the top agents only average 3.5 full transactions per year, which means that the large majority of agents only do one transaction per year. Most agents make less than $24,000 per year in real estate, which is poverty level for a family of five in the U.S., and that's all before real estate expenses and federal and state taxes. So can they afford to market your listing while they're paying and praying that it will sell? Real estate companies have to go to volume to survive. And the book Freakonomics has a wealth of other real estate resources. It is noted that real estate companies and agents must work volume to survive in the real estate economy. According to many agents, the business model of real estate is set up so that people who sell their home pay for those who don't, and that's why they have to charge high commissions. So choosing an agent that can pay for your listing to be marketed is key to your success. So challenge number two, meeting the deal expectations of a buyer. Buyers are happy to buy. A new 2013 Gallup poll shows that 67% of Americans feel now is a good time to buy a house. The findings suggest that Americans are holding on to the perceptions of a buyer's market despite an observer concerns about the potential for a housing double dip decline. However, when asked what they are expecting in the transactions, buyers said they're expecting a great deal. So what is a great deal? Homes in Atlanta are still selling for 95% of market value according to the FMLS just like they were five years ago in a better market. And buyers want to see the condition of the home reflected in the price. They like incentives or allowances for any objection. But the bottom line, homes are selling with the same conditions. Here's a case study of failure though. The Coles were listed for sale for $200,000 and received an offer for $182,000. After deducting the commission due of $12,000, the offer was worth $170,000. They countered their bottom line and were apart $4,000. Their buyer walked from the sale of the home for a difference of 2% of the asking price. This actually happens 61% of the time with offers. Buyers walk for as little as 2% of the asking price. In the New Star 2010 survey of 1,304 real estate professionals, respondents reported that they spent 35 hours on a listing over a six month period of time. On a $200,000 home, that means the listing agent who's making $6,000, which is half of the 6% commission, is making $171.42 per hour. Is that too much money for them to make considering that your buyer could walk for $4,000 or 2% of your asking price? Challenge number three, standing out from the crowd. 97% of home buyers start their search online and the remaining buyers are sent listings by email by their agent. Real estate is no longer done by local neighborhood agents telling buyers what's available. Agents don't speak to each other about their listings. They can see the listings instantaneously online. And buyers spend exactly two seconds looking at photos before they move on. Potential buyers rule out great homes due to bad photos or staging. Why can't they see past bad photos? 
Well, people have a hard time envisioning themselves in a home without a frame of reference. This is a condo on the fourth floor of the what would be called a low rise. The top picture is the homeowner's attempt to sell their home first. The bottom picture is after a stager came in and staged the home and the home sold, well the condo sold really quickly after that. So guidance is needed with staging and photos. The right guidance ensures great opportunities aren't missed and the right matchmaking of the buyer and the home occurs allowing them to fall in love with the home. However, many agents do not properly coach or provide the correct tools for their clients. The way your home shows online matters most to your success. And the search is limited because the price is listed on the nines. Oh my gosh, this is a horrible thing. Okay, buyers search the internet for homes based on the location and price, right? A home listed at 250,000 will yield searches based on 200 to 250 and 250 to 300, doubling the amount of buyers who see the home. Whereas a home listed at 249.9 will only search 200 to 250, missing half of the potential buyers for a $100 difference. The agent's job is to market your home to every buyer, right? Here are the results of not reaching buyers every time and making a deal work with the first one. Well, there's possible price reductions, more mortgage payments, more upkeep of a home that you don't want, reduced opportunity of a low interest rate for your next purchase. Can you take the risk of not reaching every buyer? Challenge four, the lack of proper guidance from an agent. Real estate is a cockamamie profession, says Stephen Brobeck of the Consumer Federation Foundation who gave testimony to the Department of Justice about real estate transactions when the Department of Justice was suing the National Association of Realtors. He said the word cockamamie, which means ridiculous and nonsensical, totally sums up the way real estate is done. Here's his quote. In no other important consumer service industry are prices and services so opaque. Not only do traditional brokers fail to advertise commission rates and detailed services, but brokers are also reluctant to provide them in writing unless prospective consumers request them. So why are agents so hesitant to give you their marketing plan in writing? Well, the truth is little is required to become an agent and further schooling is not required by brokers. The bar to entry is so low to become an agent. You know, a high school diploma, you have to be 18 years or older. You have to report your criminal history. But it can be given if you have a felon. You just have to take a 75-hour pre-license course online and then pass the state test. But you get unlimited tries. Most brokerages don't require any additional training. That's all up to the agent. Remember the 100% brokers out there? Well, how does this compare to a cosmetologist? Well, a cosmetologist must complete 1,500 classroom hours, 3,000 apprenticeship hours. That's 4,425 more hours than real estate agents license. And yet one costs $20 to see, and the other influences an investment loss or gain in your portfolio that can cost you tens of thousands of extra dollars. Did you know that an agent can have a license forever with no transactions and only six hours of education online each year? This is why most agents do not know how to properly coach you on finding a buyer and making the deal work and more importantly marketing your property to every buyer. And agents aren't required to have a budget set aside to market properties. Because of the independent contractor relationship that an agent has with their broker, they are not required to have a marketing budget to market listings. Remember the 100% brokers? They're not using the brokerage's advertising budget. They're using their own. And the public's now very aware of these facts. Eight out of ten sellers said that they would not use the same agent again to sell their home. Sellers and buyers also felt that it was unfair for an agent to get paid upon closing whether or not they did a good job. And 71% of homeowners believe that real estate commissions are too high. So why are agents so hesitant to spend money on your listing? Well, they're not sure of your motives. They don't know if you will do what it takes for them to be paid. It takes six listings failing for the average agent to get one listing that sells and pays them. 
With that said, homes do get sold, but you need to know how to set up your selling strategy. That's why education is so important. So as a result, sellers are confused about the selling process due to inadequate agents and inadequate techniques of marketing. The reality is there are proven scientific solutions and a formulated process available that will eliminate resentment, get you the best nut for your home, and help you sell in one half of the time of any other model of selling. So what are the solutions? Well, ask questions and demand answers. Weed out insufficient agents by asking, do you use a proven scientific process that will give me the best price for my home in the quickest amount of time? What is your process when my home is on the market longer than expected? Can you provide me with at least 10 or more testimonials from previous clients in the last year? How much money are you going to spend on my home in advertising in a six-month listing? Are you going to put my home on for sale by owner websites? Can I rent or lease purchase my home if I choose? Can I exit our agreement at any time? Do you use a professional photographer with the ability to add a tour link to my listing? Are you readily available during your scheduled hours to answer my questions or concerns? What is your game plan if my property doesn't appraise? How long does it take for your system to sell my property? What are my total fees to sell with you? What is the highest price that you will list my property at and how long can I stay at that price? These questions will help ensure you find the right agent and avoid wasted time on the market. Utilize an expert that has a team in each part of the process. This team includes an expert at the initial meeting for listing that can offer strategies on how to get a higher price for your home. An expert who helps you set the price based on your motives and a strategy for lowering the price later if needed and wanted. A contract negotiation and closing process expert. This division of the process helps ensure all areas of the sale are handled by an expert. Realize you can find a buyer who wants your home and will pay you for it. You don't have to pay high agent fees. Bob and his wife located an agency that helped them save on a real estate commission and that savings would ultimately increase their chances of selling. They were curious if they would have to do more work if they paid less but the agent explained to them that the commission structure for selling has declined due to the internet and the structure of how real estate works now, not because they had to do more work or be alone in the process. So structure your sale before you start. 61% of sellers who received an offer while listed reported that the difference in what they could accept and the buyer wanted was a simple spread of 2%. So for example, if you had a house for 250000 you could not sell for a difference of $5,000. The lesson here is that you have to start your financial strategy knowing that you can sell if you get a reasonable offer. Another common case study of unfair practices. Well, Peter and Maggie were doing lawn work when a buyer drove by to see their home after viewing it on the Internet. The buyer stopped and asked to see inside. Peter showed the buyer the home. Two days later, Peter's listing agent showed up with an offer from her buyer, which was the man that Peter showed the home to. The listing agent made 6% commission on the sale, even though the buyer came from the fact that Peter's home was great. So utilize a proven scientific process that covers all the basis of advertising your property for sale. Start with the getting ready phase and then end with the closing phase but use a scientific process. What are the steps that are required in a scientific process? Well, you've got to get a pricing strategy for the internet to maximize views. You've got to maximize your photo shoot with staging ideas. Add agent and buyer incentives. Advertise your home for, on for sale by owner websites and thousands of MLS driven websites to cover your basis of where buyers are looking. Hold your home open when possible for buyers who have seen it online. Appeal to your buyers with an objection letter called a love letter. Write reverse offers to second time visitors. Make strategic counter offers. Offer money in lieu of repairs. And partner with an agent who offers verifiable solutions for marketing. Qualities to look for in a marketing plan and an agent. 
The marketing plan and fee structure allows you to save commission so that you can sell your home when presented with an offer. The marketing plan takes no more time for you to perform than if you were listed with a full price agent. The agent has an out-of-the-box thinking that results from dealing with thousands of homeowners while selling their home. The plan gives you the ability to sell your home to a buyer without an agent if you want and saving yourself a lot of commission in the meantime. You never have to hear that they're on vacation or at the grocery store or they need to get back to their office. They work normal business hours. They're open to new ideas about open houses, advertising mediums, and ways to attract buyers. You can reach them if you need them, but they are not pounding you to take less for your home than you want. They let you dictate whether you want to sell, rent, or lease purchase your home and let you come and go from the listing as you please so that you can do what's best for you. Our hope was that you learned how to market your home in 2014. More importantly, there are steps that you can take to avoid losing money and wasting time and that partnering with the right expert will ensure you sell your home at the highest price possible in the least amount of time. This presentation was sponsored by Duffy Realty and we'd like to share a four minute overview with you about what we do. You can sell your home efficiently and effectively. This study discussed how to sell your home efficiently and effectively. Duffy Realty is a company based on those principles. Our mission at Duffy is to utilize a common sense and scientific process that helps you sell your home and keep your money in your pocket. We use our expertise, our experience, our creativity, our vision, and an innovative system to expose your properties to buyers. As a result, our selling time is one half the time of other companies. We use technology, tested formulas, education, and processes that deliver a new standard of performance, creating a distinct seller advantage. We have a dramatic, proven track record of success and have sold over 14,500 homes in 11 years. We offer an unbiased comparison of other industry agents against us at DuffyRealtyOfAtlanta.com under the Sellers section. You'll see a, a statement there that says compare us to others. We've saved our sellers over $1 billion in listing commissions across the country. We've licensed our business model and combined we've saved over a billion dollars in listing commissions. Our process requires no more time for you than if you were listed with an agent that charges 6%. You get the ability to sell to a buyer without an agent and save 5.5% commission, leaving you paying only 0.5, one half of 1% of the sales price to sell your home. You can come and go from the market as you please. We relist you at no charge. You can rent, lease, purchase, or sale at the same time. You can ask a high price, wait, and get it. We do full contract negotiation and have a department that works 365 days a year on your behalf. We market your home to every buyer in the market. So compare that to other agents. They list you in the MOS only and miss for sell by owner thinking buyers eliminating a portion of your buyers. They will not let you come and go as you please. They don't let you sit on the market at a high price forever. They don't let you rent, lease, purchase, or sell at the same time. They are not sitting in their office negotiating contracts 365 days a year. They don't let you round up a buyer on your own from your own yard sign and eliminate 5.5% of the commission that you owe. Bottom line, listing with Duffy Realty gives you more options, marketing advantages, and more money in your pocket. Duffy Realty's expertise and experience results in saved money and time. Once you use Duffy Realty's process, you can swiftly and smoothly move towards selling your home and closing. We have experts in every phase of the transaction. A huge thank you goes to Rhonda and her team for selling my condo. You don't know what a relief it was for my wallet and peace of mind. What I'm most impressed with is the fact that I saved $14,500 from a commission that I agreed to pay to the last agent that I used. What a fool I would have been if I had sold it through her. Thank you again for all your advice, patience, and that crazy buyer and all the hard work you guys did to get it closed. You guys are really awesome. Billy Weston. Duffy Realty provided me with excellent service when I decided to sell my home. They took care of every aspect of putting my home on the market for minimal fees. I received two offers within a month and sold my home in just 30 days. I would use Duffy Realty again. 
I plan to work with Duffy again when I purchase another home due to the incentives they offer to me as a buyer. This has been an exceptional experience, and I have nothing but positive things to say. Thanks, Sarah Daves. There are 1,500 more success stories just like these for your review on the Duffy website, DuffyRealtyOfAtlanta.com. Duffy Realty is also a proud member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. So our fees, it's $500 at the time of listing plus .0034 of the sales price at closing. You pay a buyer's agent if there is one, two, three, or four percent of the sales price at closing. But remember, you never have to show your home to a buyer if you don't want to. We at the office, we have a staff of 40 something agents who can come out and see your property and show it to a buyer if they do not have an agent. Optional fees is the lockbox rental of $100 and the professional photographer virtual tour is $125. We take care of everything. We just give you opportunities if you want them. We show your home to every buyer who calls our office. 40% of our inventory is vacant and the owner lives out of town. So take action now to get listed and reach every buyer. Get an appointment at DuffyRealtyOfAtlanta.com. We'll come out within 24 hours and get your home listed and you will start attracting buyers immediately. Thank you for becoming a smart seller. I always appreciate it when sellers who have an asset take the time to learn how to sell it. Thank you for watching.